Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. Before we start the exercise, like the video and subscribe on the channel. Now, let's go for our problem. In order to raise the lamppost from the position shown, force F is applied to the cable. If F is 200 pounds, determine the moment produced by F about point A. Now, before we start our exercise, we're gonna find our dimensions in this triangle here. So here, my vertical position, I have 20 times sine of 75 degrees, that's equal 19.32 feet. This position here is 20 times cosine of 75 degrees, that's equal 5.8. 18 feet. Now I have conditions to find our distance d from b to c because I have d square is equal 19.32 square plus 10 plus 5.18 square. So I have my d is equal 24. 57 feet. Now that I find found my distance, I can found, find the components of my force F. I have my Fx and here I have my Fy. So my F is equal Fx in I plus f y in j so my f is equal 200 minus 200 because it's pointing to the left times 15.18 over 24.57 so my f x is equal minus 123.6 my fy is equal minus 200 because I'm pointing down times 19.32 over 24 by 57 so my fy is equal minus 157 Point two pounds, pounds and pounds. Now we know here that we have Fx and here that we have our Fy, Fx. Here is my distance to do my moment of fx and here is my distance to do my moment fy here we can see that my force fx doing our scalar approach go counterclockwise that is plus and my force fy goes clockwise that is negative so the moment produced by fx is equal plus, because I'm going counterclockwise, fx, that is 123.6 times our distance, that is 19.32, so times 19.32 feet. So, the moment produced by fx is equal 2,388 pounds feet. Now, our moment produced by Fy is equal minus, because I'm going clockwise, 157.2 times 5.18. So, the moment produced by Fy is equal minus 
three pounds feet. Now, the sum of moments about A is equal the moment produced by Fx plus the moment produced by Fy. So, the sum of moments about A is equal 2,388 minus 814.3. So, the sum of moments in A is equal 150, 573.7. So, we're going to put 1,574 a pounds feet. Notice that we have a plus, so we know that our direction is counter clockwise. So this is our final answer. Now we're going to redo this exercise with other approach. We know that our distance BC is equal to 24.57. Here our horizontal distance is 19.32 feet. So, using our trigonometry classes, here we have 105 degrees and we're going to find this angle theta. Why are you going to find this angle theta? Because it's the angle between the vector force and here the vector direction that is a b so applying law of sines i have d over sine of 105 has to be equal 10 over sine of theta so i know my sine of theta is equal 10 times sine of 105 degrees over 24.57. So I have my angle is 0, so sine of theta is equal 0 0.3. 3, 9, 3. Now we're going to use our equation that our moment is the cross product between the distance cross product force. If we make this bigger, we have the magnitude of the direction times the magnitude of the force times the sine between the angles between my vector distance and my vector force. So my moment is equal. The vector distance magnitude is 20 times the magnitude of force is 200, as I have on my question, times sine theta, I just discovered 0 0.393. So the magnitude of my moment is equal 1573 pounds feet or 1.57 kips feet. The answer has to be the same. Thanks for watching until the end. See you in the next video.